Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to another video. I know I probably look very tired. It's because I am. I'm about to head out to the gym today. Today is the day we are exiting our lazy girl era. Okay, period. That's what this vlog is going to be. Please ignore my dog crying in the background. Please. But we're going to be exiting our lazy girl era. I have been lazy and for so long. Ever since I quit my job, I have been doing nothing with myself. And that stops today. So today we are starting 75 Soft. If you don't know what that is, I'm going to go ahead and explain it to y'all. Give y'all a quick summary of what we're going to be doing for the next 75 days. One, eat well and only drink alcohol during social occasions. Me, I'm not going to drink alcohol at all for the next 75 days. Drink three liters of water per day. Exercise 45 minutes per day. One active recovery day per week. And 10 pages of any reading per day. So eat well work out every single day, no alcohol, drink hella water, and read. So I'm using this as a self-improvement thing slash workout thing slash healthy thing. I don't know, I added some of my own twist to it, which we'll talk about a little bit later after the gym, but I'm about to go to the gym. It is 9.04 in the morning. I did want to come up here and talk to y'all because I have been influenced. I have been influenced. I got my hands on some Oxy Shred. I have been seeing this all over TikTok. I have been seeing all the influencers use it, and I don't trust none of them. But one of my mutuals who's not sponsored, she ended up buying it, and I asked her for her opinion. She said she really likes it. So I went ahead and gave it. I got the Kiwi Strawberry Oxy Shred Fat Burner one. I think this is the one caffeine blender bottle with water. And I opened it yesterday. I haven't used it. I just opened it because I wanted to smell it. And I wanted to see if it was chunky because I've seen a lot of reviews saying people are getting bad containers. So I want to see how it looked to make sure. So you're supposed to do one scoop. You're supposed to put it in 10 ounces of water. I filled it up a little bit more than 10 just to make sure. There we go. It smells good though. <sighs> Dang, how long am I supposed to shake for? The flavor is all right. It's not bad at all, but I don't really, I don't know. It's not all that, in my opinion. I give the flavor like a 7 out of 10. I'm still going to use it because this was 60 bucks for, And really, that's not that bad, though, because for 60 servings, a dollar a serving, not that bad. But this was 60 bucks, and I'm going to use it all. And next time, I'll try another flavor. But I'm going to go ahead and sit here and chug this before we head out to the gym. Today, I am doing, what am I doing in the gym today? I made a list, but it's only for five days out of the week. I need to switch it to seven. Oh, today I'm doing core. I really don't want to do that. And once I get back, we are going to take a shower. Hopefully, I can make something in here for breakfast. We don't really have nothing. So, I also need to go to the grocery store today. Because I literally have nothing to eat in here. And I'm about to start cooking at home and stuff more. I really am not going to eat out unless it's Saturday or Sunday. And when I eat out, it's still going to be healthy. It's not going to be... I'm not really doing healthy, healthy. Let me actually put that out there. Because everybody's definition of healthy is different. I'm not, doing, I'm not in a calorie deficit. I'm not... I'm eating better than I normally do. So, I'm not eating like fried chicken. I'm not about to be going to Chipotle. I'm not about to be, you know what I'm saying? I'm not about to be eating seafood boils. I'm about to be eating salmon, shrimp. Ugh, this is going to be hard. But I have my mom doing it with me, and I also have one of my friends doing it with me. So shout out to y'all, because without y'all, I would not be able to do this by myself. I don't think y'all like this, y'all. Anyway, I'm about to sit here and check it, and I don't know if I'm bringing y'all to the gym with me. I might, I might not, but whether or not, I will see y'all after the gym. Hey you guys, I just wanted to go ahead and share this private label skincare line with you guys. If you're interested in starting your own skincare company, I want you to go ahead and check out I Care Private Label. They offer 50 plus formulations and packaging options for your next product launch. They offer ready to label formulas, free label design and printing, easy online processing, fast turnaround time and beautiful packaging options. As you can see, they sent me over this gold set with my name embroidered into the packaging. This is the website. It's super simple to navigate, super easy. I want you guys to go ahead and check them out out, visit icarepl.com
I just got out the shower, did my hygiene and stuff, and I just came to the car. We are about to go to Aldi to go grocery shopping. I do have a list. I'm cooking all week. I have a list of everything I want to make. I'm going to share my list with y'all. Today on the menu, I'm making stuffed salmon and a vegetable. Uh, maybe asparagus. And then tomorrow, I'm going to make two stuffed salmons tonight. Eat one for dinner today. Eat the other one for dinner tomorrow, but just change the vegetable. Because I made stuffed salmon last week, y'all. Oh my God. When I tell you that is my new go-to, it is so fire. I'm going to share the recipe with y'all tonight. But I'm so excited to make that. I'm making ch this chicken and rice recipe I've seen on TikTok. And I'm adding broccoli to mine. I'm making a shrimp Caesar salad pasta. And lastly... A grilled buffalo chicken wrap my mom will be cooking and stuff so i'm probably not gonna make nothing this weekend just for the week because my mom is doing it with me like i told y'all so she'll probably cook something on the weekend but she works during the weekday so i don't want to like i don't know i'll just do it my damn i don't have nothing else to do anyway and i have been really getting into cooking lately so i need to buy some fruit some vegetables some breakfast food stuff like that so we are about to head to aldi aldi has been my go-to when it comes to grocery shopping like i save so much money if i was to go to the grocery store and get the exact same thing i get at aldi i would spend at least like 50 dollars more but i'm also drinking my water i'm supposed to drink three cups of this a day i'm still on my first one it's a little bit more than halfway so I'm going to sip on my water, go to the grocery store. I'm bringing y'all with me in the grocery store. Pick up some things for the week. I think I'm going to do grocery shopping every week instead of just one big grocery haul because I tend to forget about stuff and just let it sit when I'm not using it. So I'm really trying to plan my days out and what I want to make so I'm not wasting money or wasting food. So every week, I think on Mondays or Sundays, we're going to go grocery shopping for the week while we're doing 75 soft. Go ahead and I will meet y'all in the day. My Get some in now, let so edge out To some ice, but you'll be heavy in my mind Can you get the heck out? I need grass now, got me bummed out You so you, so you, baby, baby, baby I'm on my empty mind, shit I should've keep from pushing the best of me I will be that I wasted the best of me We are literally in the same spot for like the fifth time already. I just came home. I had to put a pimple patch on and I changed into some more comfy clothes. I'm hot, y'all. I was walking back and forth, back and forth, getting bags out the car. Now, that's my water bottle in the car, which I need to go get because I need to drink my three liters for the day. Quick grocery haul. Um, I went to the grocery store too, if I didn't just say that. Some kiwi and some grapes. I'm going to make like, I don't know if y'all seen on TikTok, the mason jars where people just fill it up with fruit and like meal prep fruit or prep fruit for the week. I'm only gonna make two though because I doubt I'll eat that many. I bought some granola for parfaits. I needed this, so I bought that. I got my dog some food. I'm trying to make this quick because I am hungry and I'm ready to make something to eat. So I got some pasta noodles for my pasta Caesar salad. Low carb tortillas. I was looking for the big ones, but I didn't see them in the low carb or carb balance ones, so I just got the small ones. Then my, my baby some treats. Got some Chobani. Zero sugar yogurt for my parfaits. Tomatoes. I left a bag. I am missing a bag. Well, I'm missing bread, unless I left it in the back seat. But I only have four bags and this is all four, so. I left my bread at the store. Am I about to go back and get it? Not today, I'll just buy another pack tomorrow. And a pack of eggs. And then from Aldi, I went ahead and bought some of these. I bought three, the other one is just in my car, it's empty. So I can keep these in my car for when I go to Aldi and I don't have to keep buying them. Uh, paper bag so a pack of bagels some broccoli a Caesar salad kit one for my side with salmon and one for the Caesar salad pasta potatoes with onions and peppers mozzarella cheese imitation crab spinach for the stuffed salmon asparagus for the stuffed salmon and I got raspberries and strawberries a pack of shredded lettuce some honey to put over my parfait the last bag I got shrimp I got some instant rice I got two things of salmon i got these i don't know if i'm gonna like them but they're spinach and feta chicken sausages pita crackers i got smoked salmon dip and spinach artichoke 
Just if I'm ever craving a little snacky snack. Heavy whipping cream. Turkey bacon, which I'm probably about to make right now. Cause chicken breast. This is what the counter is looking like. Like I told you, I'm about to cook a late breakfast. I don't really know too much. I know I want eggs and a bagel. And I'll probably, I don't want turkey bacon though. I want regular bacon, but I can't really, I shouldn't eat regular bacon. I don't know, but I'm about to put this up and make breakfast and I'll check back in with y'all. Probably once I'm making breakfast. All right, y'all, I'm back. I'm in the bed. I'm about to go ahead and edit this YouTube video I filmed yesterday. It does have promo in it, so I need to send it over today. They want me to send it over two days before I plan on posting it. And I want to post either Wednesday or Thursday. Today's Monday. So I'm about to just edit that video straight through. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. My past couple videos have been short. So I'm hoping this one y'all are watching is just a little bit longer. But I definitely do need to get <clears throat> this content, this video done. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of hours. Probably until it's time to cook. And I'm so excited, y'all. Like, when I tell that stuff, Sammy, it's not good. Hang it, it is. Oh, my God. It was so fire when I made it last time. And I'm about to put on YouTube while I edit in the background. And I'm about to get in my mode and focus. I'm about to be done with this. I have, like, three more sips. And I'm about to fill it up again. And that'll be my second one for the day. I looked it up. Hold on. 101 ounces is three liters. So, this is 40. So, about two and a half. But I'm going to just do three a day. I'm getting a little tired, y'all. Can't go to sleep. We got work to do. So I'm going to come check back in with y'all. Probably, most likely, when it's time for dinner and we're cooking. You got potential. Because I just didn't feel like making asparagus, but I got an extra piece of salmon left. That salmon was huge. I didn't eat nowhere near all of it. It was way too big. I realized the stuffed salmon may not be very healthy when I was putting it together. I'm like, this is actually kind of crazy. It's already made. That's what I'm going to eat tomorrow. I'm in the kitchen. I got these two mason jars. We're about to put together our little fruit thingies. Alright, I'm about to go ahead and scooch y'all down and show y'all me doing this. So we don't have to talk. Find it somewhere else and pick your ass up, take it over there and keep it coming. Playing each piece like losing it hurts. This ain't checkers. You got to come get my king. All these other pieces are just a means to do. I'm not having my time wasted. <laughs>
I just finished doing my skincare and I am in the bed. I am about to go ahead and do my last, I don't even know what you call it, like my last whatever for the day for 75 soft. These stars do not be sticking. Like, do y'all see how that was coming up? I'm about to go put on my Mighty Patch because this is not, yeah. I have this little habit tracker. It's called Every Day. Um, so far, I've checked off Wake Up at 7.30 and what was the other one? Oh, Work Out for 45 Minutes, which I've done today. Uh, read 10 pages a day. I just pulled out my book. It can be any book of choice for 75 soft. This is what I was reading a while back. I just never picked it back up. So the goal is to finish this sometime soon, like within the next week or two. Once I finish this last cup, I will be done with my water intake for the day. So the last two things I need to do is finish this water and read at least 10 pages of this book. And I am tired, y'all. I literally have to stay up and edit this video. I don't have to, but I really just wanna get it out the way because spring break is approaching. So the sooner I get my schoolwork done, the longer of a break I will have, being that I'm online and I don't have to like go to class or anything. So that's the goal. That's why tonight I really wanna focus on getting this video finished and sent over for approval since it is a sponsored video and then it'll be done but it is gonna take so long i don't know why it takes me so long to edit like i gotta get it together i don't know why i'm such a slow editor but i am i am about to clock out for the night i think it's like seven o'clock ish and i will check in with you guys first thing in the morning at 7 30. good morning y'all it is the next day i don't know what it's been but like since yesterday or maybe even the day before Whenever I wake up, I wake up extremely tired. I woke up this morning at like 7.20 and I'm like, what the, why am I so tired? I had to go back to sleep. I woke up at like eight, like an hour later. I'm up again, I'm still so tired. And it's like, I'm getting enough sleep. I'm not getting too much, I'm not getting too little. I'm getting enough sleep. Why am I waking up so tired? Like I could even go back to sleep again for a third time, but I will still wake up again tired. I just been sitting here. I fed my dog. She's over here. Uh, Y'all can see her. She's over here laying down. But I'm about to go ahead and make breakfast. I think I'll make the little TikTok breakfast sandwich. I don't know if y'all seen that, but with the egg, then you put the bread on top, then you flip it, and then you put all your toppings inside. Uh, I've had to do bacon, egg, cheese, tomato, and we're going to do Bible study for the morning. And I also need to fill my water bottle up because this is empty from yesterday. We have another three refills to do for today. <sighs> my head hurts. I don't know why my head just started hurt out of nowhere, but we got shit to do today and it's only day two. So I'm going to see it through regardless. I'm just, I don't understand why I'm so tired. And now my head is hurting. I'm about to take an Advil real quick. Keep it on deck. I cannot just swallow pills with spit. I don't know how to be doing that. I'm not one of them. The Advil is taken. I think I'm gonna just sit here and wait for it to kick in because my head literally just started booming as soon as I pulled this camera out. And it's banging. I'm gonna just lay here for a couple more minutes. And then once it kicks in, because it usually don't take that long, I'm gonna go ahead and head to the kitchen and make breakfast. That's probably really what I need to do is eat and then I'll feel better, but I have to go through the whole cooking process. I have nothing I could just like throw together real quick. I mean, I do, but I don't really want that. So yeah, I'm gonna check back in with y'all in a few minutes. He turns to the right hand, but I do not see him. So Job has gone in every direction, but fails to find God. But notice where he failed to look. He failed to look up. I think a lot of us fail to do this as well. We'll start off by crying to our spouse, calling up our sister or our best friend, going to a counselor, or even going to Facebook, asking everyone for prayers, or maybe even answers before we ever actually get on our knees ourselves and seek an answer from God. And the Bible says that he inhabits the praises of his people. And that means that he is enthroned upon your praise and ruling over your life. So heart check, where do you go? when seeking answers or advice. It is 1.57, it's basically two o'clock and I'm just now getting up out of the bed for real, for real. I made, I woke up when I showed y'all, I cooked breakfast. I made a little breakfast sandwich. I did Bible study. And anytime I looked at a computer screen and my iPad and my phone, I tried to edit, I tried to watch TV. It just, I don't know, I felt, ugh. And I'm just like, oh my God. I went back to sleep, woke up again, felt fine for a couple minutes, started walking around. I'm just like, damn, like my head is, 
It feels like somebody's punched me in my head back to back. So I was like, you know what? And I'm, I'm, I keep trying to look at my phone and stuff. And I'm like, this is, this phone, this phone is the issue it seemed like. It's probably a migraine. Keep in mind, I've never had a migraine before. So do it. I don't know, child. But thing, it kept getting worse and worse and worse. Yeah, it got so bad to the point I went to go lay down in my closet. Because that's the only place where there's like no light coming in. There's no windows. I mean, other than the bathroom. But I'm not laying down in the bathroom. I would lay down my closet. And when I tell you, I was at peace. But I was so uncomfortable. So I went back to my bed. I put pillows over my head. So it was dark. And I went back to sleep. And now I'm up for like the fourth time. And I feel better somewhat. It's still like a slight headache. And I probably shouldn't be going to the gym. But we are holding ourselves accountable for 75 soft. I don't care. I'm up now at 2 o'clock. And I'm ready to get my day started. Today is going to be a chill day. Because I still have not finished that video, y'all. Like, I... I don't know what is going on with me, but I have to get it together. So I'm about to go to the gym. I'm about to go ahead and take my Oxy Shred. When I drunk it, okay, first of all, I will say it does make you sweat a lot in the gym. It does give you that energy boost. It does what it's supposed to do. But my only issue is the flavor dumped together. Hold on, y'all. Let me shake it real quick. And I really try to stick with what the girls say is good, but next time I shall um, figure something else out on my own. It's actually not... Okay, let me explain. The flavor is... Let's try that again. <laughs> the flavor is kiwi strawberry. My issue is I love strawberry kiwi flavor stuff. I love it. It's good. It tastes good. But this tastes nothing like kiwi strawberry. It tastes like a green apple Jolly Rancher. And I'm probably like, oh my god, that sounds so good. Maybe, but for somebody who doesn't like candy, me, I'm not really feeling it. It's not bad. It's just, it's extremely sweet too. Like it tastes like a sour, it has that little tang to it, like a sour, sweet green apple Jolly Rancher. If you like green apple stuff, you will love this. But me, I'm not a fan of the flavor. This was 60 bucks. So will I be finishing this and waiting until it's out to purchase a new flavor? Absolutely. We don't waste money around here. If it was unbearable, I would I would absolutely go give me another flavor, but it's not. I can drink it. I just really don't like it. But as y'all can see, it's not that much I have to drink. It said fill your water up 10 ounces. I usually do a little bit over 10 because if I just do 10, baby, that's too sweet still. I need more water than, than that. Yeah, I'm going to bring y'all to the gym. I think today is leg day. I made a schedule, a workout schedule. This is my workout schedule. What does today say? Cheers. Get your ass up. Go to the gym. Alright, I just showered, got dressed for the day. I really have on this little hoodie and some sweatpants. I didn't put nothing crazy on because I am about to head to a smoothie shop and finish editing my video. Hopefully, it is currently, let me see, it is 3.31. They close at 6 o'clock. I'll probably stay there until they close. I just need something. I just need to get some work done. And like I told you, I'm trying to stay away from coffee, at least in the beginning, or at least till I find some substitutes because I'm not with that sugar free. I'm not with, you know, if I'm going to have coffee, I'm going to have it my way. My way kind of defeats the purpose of this whole diet and stuff. So I've been fine. I haven't craved it yet. <laughs> I mean, girl, it's only day two. Calm down. I also brought my book. I am going to read a self-improvement book instead of the book I was reading um, because it just makes more sense especially in the beginning so I'm reading this book right here this book my girl Barbie K recommended to me it's called the power of your subconscious mind unlock your key unlock your master key to success I promise y'all I can read this is the book I brought me a little highlighter and stuff to highlight stuff throughout this is a self-improvement book so I'm read 10 pages of this before I do anything and then once I do my 10 pages for the day I'm gonna get into editing my YouTube video
it is a lot later and I'm in the bed. If you can hear the TV in the background, I'm watching Zoe 101. I just needed something to play in the background while I edit and I love watching a good like old school show when I'm editing. So Zoe 101 it is. It is 1030 and I literally have sat here and drunk an energy drink. This is one of the last ones I had in my fridge because I got back on energy drinks. I only drunk like a total of four, maybe five since I got back on within like the last month so not too bad but this is my last one that was in the fridge is strawberry lemonade and i only drank half i'm done i'm not gonna drink the rest i don't know if i told y'all but my spring break starts on monday if i get i did tell y'all this i remember if i get all my work done tonight i'm done for two and a half weeks i'm working on this video i am 16 minutes in and i'm pretty much about to be done with this video it's a short video it's just a little day in my life so it really is not about to be more than like 20 minutes probably and once i finish this video i'm gonna go ahead and knock out my schoolwork only have three assignments and they're literally all i think discussion posts nothing crazy which only take me like an hour max for all three of them i've just decided i'm gonna knock it all out tonight so the rest of the week i can have like a chill week and focus on my 75 soft challenge cooking getting my life together and just you know and having time to do things that I want to do. Like y'all know I've been trying to practice makeup. But I haven't been having no time. I just wanted to check in with y'all. I am actually going to sleep. For real. After I finish all this. So yeah. I will see y'all tomorrow. For real this time. Yeah. This camera has been giving me H-E double hockey stick the whole morning. And since last night. I thought it was the lens. Where did I put the lens? I thought it was the lens because I have a wide angle lens. And last night i made a video too y'all like my lens kept closing let me show y'all watch the lens and watch this little camera part you see how it zoomed in on me and closed then it opened back up then it zoomed back in i'm not doing nothing you don't see my hands nowhere near this camera then it say turn the power off and back on when i turn it back on and back off it did the same thing so i took the lens off and it started working again i don't have the lens on my camera at all right now did it again this morning this is without the lens, y'all. It did the same thing. For this to be a 700 some dollar camera, you shouldn't be doing all that. That kind of just pissed me off. I mean, it's fine now, but it's been doing that for a minute. Like, it's been giving me little troubles here and there. Like, I've been able to fix them, but it's been it's been a consistent thing. It is the next morning. I went to sleep at like 2.30 last night. It is 9.39 in the morning. I just went to go fill my water up. Yeah, team I have been running to the bathroom like crazy. Crazy. And I'm eating my fruit for breakfast. And after I eat this, I am gonna go to the grocery store and look for protein shakes. I don't know what's a good protein shake brand. Everybody said like a lot of them taste chalky or um they're just not good and taste grainy or whatever. So I don't know. I'm looking for the protein shakes to add into coffee so I can drink coffee again or i can look for a sugar-free creamer i feel like the protein shake would be a little bit more beneficial because it'll help me get my protein intake as well i'm not really tracking all this stuff y'all i don't really care to i just know i'm eating better and that's that's big progress for me if you know you know you know i'd be at chipotle chick-fil-a doing all this net but last night i was looking up what i can get at chipotle or what i can get at chick-fil-a like stuff like that and on like a diet and it's actually stuff you can get like at chick-fil-a you can get a little kale salad with the grilled nuggets and put some sauce over it you can get a mac and cheese with the grilled nuggets and put sauce over it at chipotle chipotle is very limited though because they say the sour cream is what is real bad at chipotle and baby i i, I dry my chipotle and sour cream okay i'm not doing any cheat days but on the weekends i can eat out but it's still gonna be like you know being mindful of what i'm eating but i'm about to go ahead and eat my fruit get ready i ran ahead to the grocery store and look for either a sugar-free creamer or a protein shake so i can make a coffee if i don't find neither one of what i'm looking for like a good sounding sugar-free creamer or a good sounding protein shake i'll be fine um i'm not even really craving the coffee i just want to see how it would taste like see if this is something i actually am going to let go of or see if i can you know um make some shake so yeah the next time i see it, it'll probably be in the car or at the grocery store all right y'all we are about to go to the gym it is currently 12 26 i've been getting my work done and also watching love is blind which is why i want to come up here and talk to y'all because 
we have to chat. I need to vent to somebody about Love is Blind. Now, if you haven't watched all the episodes up to the wedding, you're about to catch some spoilers, so I recommend you just go ahead and skip this. By the time y'all see this, I think we'll be waiting on a reunion to come out. So, hold on, let me get my life together real quick. Then I spilled it all over the floor. First and foremost, I'm not bringing this all the way back to episode one because that's way too much. We just gonna talk about, y'all know the main couples that played in, they got the most screen time, shall I say. First of all, let's get into the most, I don't wanna say boring, but y'all know, Amy and Johnny didn't get no screen time because they won't messy like everybody else. The only time they got screen time was when they was talking about birth control because they wanted to make Johnny look like the bad guy, but he was he was doing too much. He acted like there's no such things as other forms of protection. But maybe he's just uneducated, okay? So Amy and Johnny, they're cool, I like them. They got married, of course. I think everybody was expecting that. I also seen a spoiler on TikTok. Apparently somebody on the filming crew leaked who, who got married in the end, but I feel like that's not true. We probably all could have figured out Amy and Johnny was the only ones getting married. AD and Clay. First of all, Clay is fruity. I don't care what nobody has to say about that. Second of all, Clay just wanted to be on TV because how do you come on a show where you're supposed to get married, you're getting on the show to get married because you're ready to get married, but you get to the altar and say you're not ready to get married. Why would you come on the show then? The whole entire show, he talking about, oh, my daddy was cheating on my mama. I'm scared I'm gonna cheat on you. AD, you should have ran. AD should have ran, but AD is just a lover girl. Like I could, I could really see that. She might be a little green, but she's just a lover girl. I hope she gets her, her love one day. I hope she finds it. He was literally telling her out his mouth, I'm gonna cheat. I only know what my daddy taught me. I don't want to say it's her fault, but it low-key kind of is her fault for going all the way to Alter. But Kenneth, Fruity too. I don't even want to get into him because he pissed me off for real. I really had liked them together. That was one of the few people I liked together was Kenneth, and I think her name was Brittany. Him and that phone. Him and that phone. Chelsea. Chelsea needs therapy. Chelsea needs to work on herself before she even gets into a relationship. Jimmy. At first I was like, he's really a nice guy. He's really... You know what I'm saying? I really thought he was really trying. He was really, I don't know. I had mixed feelings about him because why was you going so hard for the friend that you don't? You know what I mean? Why was you going that hard? It's supposed to mean you're not letting her go. You not, you not stepping back. You effed on a girl and now you're in a relationship getting ready to be married and you're not letting that go. I'm sorry. Never will I ever let my man be cool with somebody he was in on. Are you crazy? That's the that's one of the parts where I was like, yeah, he's dead wrong because I don't care how close y'all are, I don't care if y'all childhood friends, and I don't care if it happened once. No. Call me insecure, say what you want, but that's crazy. But Chelsea also, she was dragging, she was crying every other scene. She was just she she has she has some self-improvement to work on. That I will say. Um, but Chelsea don't really seem like a bad person. Y'all is really dragging her on the internet, and that poor girl, she just maybe she ain't never had no love growing up. Oh, Laura. I love me some Laura down. Laura A as she should. Sarah Ann, you gonna get your karma ho. <laughs> you gonna get your karma ho. And let me say, if y'all be on TikTok, TikTok be giving all the spoilers out. Like I literally know Sarah Ann and dude, whatever his name is, is still together. She be making TikToks in his house. And Sarah Ann, you gonna get your karma. <laughs> Laura did what need to be done. I'm glad everything happened the way it did because my girl Laura deserved better. But yeah, I don't really wanna get too far back. Like. Episode one, two, three, we talking about like the couples that got married. We ain't talking about uh, the dude with the red hairline. We not talking about Jess. We not talking about none of them. I don't really care. Jess, Jess was that girl though. But that's just my take. And I feel like ever since season one, season one and season two after that, the show just became everybody wanted to get on the show just to be on TV. Because you see how it works. How do you get on a show to get married but you're not ready to I think a lot of people just want screen time now and I feel like every season that comes out after like one and two, it's just forced. Like people just want to be on TV. Clay, that's what I will say. Clay just wanted some screen time. I don't care what y'all say. That man did not want to get married. And the fact he was smiling at the altar <laughs> right before he said no. I pray to God I never come across a Clay in my life. I cannot wait for the reunion. I'm gonna get on my speculations. Amy and Johnny still together. She might, she might be pregnant. I think she might have a baby on the way by now because this is like a year later or maybe they they preparing for kids but they're still together i i bet that ad and clay i think after the after the uh that episode i think they would try to work it out but it just didn't end up working so now they just cut ties i think that's what's gonna happen 
Chelsea and whatever. I think also they tried to work it out off camera or after the fact. That didn't work out neither. And now they just whatever. Kenneth and Brittany, I don't think they had nothing to say to each other after this. I think they was, once they broke up on the show, they, they broke up in real life and that was it. Sarah Ann and that, oh, that dude, I don't know his name. They still together. I told y'all that. So when y'all see it, tell them Kaya told y'all. But yeah, those are my speculations. Let me know how y'all feeling about this new season. I think it's season six. Let me know what y'all thinking. Let me know y'all thoughts. Let me think. Let me know what y'all think is about to happen after these marriages. I just want to vent real quick. I needed to get it off my chest. Like, love is blind. It's so entertaining, but it's literally full of shit at this point. It, it is. But am I going to keep watching it? Yeah. But I'm about to go ahead and go to the gym. I'm not filming today because today is my least favorite day ever. It's something I'm still trying to figure out what exercises work for me because i never really do it i only do it once a week it's arms and back yeah i'm gonna just do this workout off camera today i'll probably bring y'all along tomorrow i'll meet y'all after the gym cheers good morning i am out and about with my bonnet on yes don't give up okay <laughs> but i'm at target because i seen this thing on tiktok last night i found this girl's page and y'all know i'm on a i'm on a diet kind of i'm trying to eat better and do 75 soft or whatever today y'all are gonna do a what i eat in a day with me i'm gonna be cooking with y'all all day breakfast lunch dinner it's 9 53 i am gonna be eating a late breakfast because i had to run to the store because i don't have what i need for this recipe but i'm gonna give y'all this girl's tiktok that i found some of her recipes are very questionable like i know a lot of people are very healthy but i will never use cottage cheese or i will never use yogurt instead of cream cheese or cottage cheese instead of regular cheese i'm not that deep in the trenches baby and i, I don't never want to be when i see a recipe like that i will substitute with what i need to but this is her tiktok and she has a lot of good meal ideas on like low calorie or you know what i'm saying so the one i am making today filet hash brown scramble bowl and i'm gonna let y'all see it the hash browns throw it in the bowl yep 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 yep, yep. Chick oh shit egg whites i'm using regular eggs i don't know what the issue is with regular eggs but boo, i'm using me a regular egg i'm sorry um this this healthy chicken you know what i'm saying the healthy chicken um chipotle sauce a little bit of that and add some cheese on top and you literally have a chick-fil-a scramble bowl like that just sounds so fire yeah my camera is still doing that mess from yesterday but i'm gonna give y'all a quick call of what i bought because i did get a little bit more than i needed i found this these chicken strips i'm gonna cut them up into like little chicken nugget kind of pieces it's purdue simply smart organic chicken or crispy strips a 15 pack of hash brown some oat milk i think this is fine and I also bought the new creamer toasted marshmallow almond and coconut creamer zero sugar unsweetened so this is what I'm going to use with my Nespresso machine, so I'm still going to use that. Now, I'm about to drink one of these. I picked up Chobani Zero Sugar Mixed Berry. I picked up two Mixed Berry and one Strawberry Cheesecake. Just to put some on my stomach while I start making breakfast. Mmm, this tastes like a animal, y'all. I picked up two poppies. These have five grams of sugar, but these are going to be like, like my little special treat. That's why I only picked up two. For the mornings, I don't feel like making no breakfast. I just brought these two turkey sausage microwave breakfast bowls and then i also bought protein waffles for my lazy breakfast days oh and i bought these because i've been needing something sweet so we're gonna try this out um i'm pretty sure it's gonna be nasty so please recommend me something good that i can eat while on a diet that has a little bit of sweetness to it so i'm gonna go ahead and make breakfast one chicken strip depending on how big they is and get some cheese and do one egg i don't know y'all but i'm gonna throw the chicken the air fryer the hash brown in the oven and get to work on these eggs and i'm gonna come talk to y'all once it's done and show y'all how breakfast is looking all right y'all we are about to assemble our breakfast bowl oh i'm so hungry everything just smells so good all right so the first thing you want to do is get your hash brown put it at the bottom and the girl mashed hers up a little bit there we go that's how i would like mine I put the eggs in the chicken in a separate bowl. I want it to look assembled correctly. Toss the chicken on top. A little bit of cheese. All I have is sharp cheddar. I don't do too much cheese. And then, all right, this is the chipotle, the spicy chipotle I found at the store. I'm not going to put much because I don't know. Just a little drizzle. Yeah, my wide angle lens is not working. See, so I probably look so close in my face, but we're going to go ahead and try this. Make sure I get a little bite of everything. Just 
I did have a double check, make sure I cut everything off. But yeah, this is good, y'all. I'm about to go ahead and eat breakfast. And then after this, I'm probably just going to chill until my food digests because I want to go to the gym. So it's 11.05, probably at like 1. I'll go to the gym. Those chicken dinners are pretty good too. I have, I still have one more assignment I have yet to do. That's probably what I should knock out real fast while I'm letting my food digest. So I'm about to eat and then I'll get that done. And then I'll probably come talk to y'all when it's time to go to the gym. I'll probably bring y'all to the gym today. Today I'm doing core. I don't mind core. Yesterday I did arms and back, like I told y'all. I never checked back in. I forgot about that. I will talk to y'all or see y'all at the gym. just left the gym baby today i had all the energy in the world i was running on the treadmill like i have been slowly getting into running on the treadmill instead of just walking because i usually do the treadmill to warm up but running on it i know that's right but we're gonna crack one of these open and see what it tastes like get a little snack or something because i low-key feel like i'm about to tiny. look how tiny this is 70 calories y'all this is so sweet Okay, let me not be too greedy. This is really good. I was nice. I could literally only eat one, but mm. I know y'all see the crumbs, the crumbs dropping, please. So all my girlies who are on a diet, I give it like a nine out of 10. It's pretty good. I took some shrimp out the freezer to thaw for dinner. I'm gonna make a shrimp pasta Caesar salad. If y'all seen the trend on TikTok, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you'll see when I make dinner tonight. I'm about to go ahead and get in the shower. I will be right back when it's time to make lunch. All right, y'all, I am back. I just got out the shower. I'm not even hungry, so I'm not making lunch. Um, I know skipping meals isn't exactly, I don't know, but I'm not hungry. Like the next meal I eat is dinner, and then after dinner, I'll be done for the night. And don't ask about this cone. <laughs> the girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, just don't. I'm about to go ahead and do my 10 pages for the day. This is the book I decided to end up reading. I was reading Reminders of Him, but I'm like, for this specific way I'm challenging myself, it makes more sense to read a self-improvement book rather than like a romance book. Either way, reading is reading, but I'm gonna definitely start off with a self-improvement book just to set the tone and, you know. I've been highlighting and stuff. I've actually been really tuned into this book. I've been highlighting and stuff, so I know what part I'm at. The bookmark was just yeah it's called the power of your subconscious mind unlock your master key to success very thin book you know what i'm saying it's five dollars so i highly recommend if anybody is looking for some self-improvement books before i do my reading for the day i'm about to pull up my handy dandy ipad handy dandy ipad i have been using my ipad a lot more lately y'all know at one point like i was not using this ipad but i'm back on my ipad ting um, I'm about to download Pinterest real quick because I'm about to pull up a budgeting paper sheet so I can write on my iPad. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, I need to plan my budget out. One of the things I wanted to add into my 75 soft challenge. Was okay, so I just pulled up Pinterest and I looked up budget planner. And I'm about to go through the ones I see and see which one works best for me. Okay, this is cute. So I went ahead and added it to good notes. This is the one I ended up choosing. You can just go on Pinterest and type in monthly budget planner, budget planner, budget template, whatever you want. But this is the one I ended up choosing. 
So monthly expenses. Let's put that, that on here first. Stick your ass up, take it over there, and keep it company. You're playing each piece like losing it hurts. This ain't checkers. You got to come get my king. All these other pieces are just a means to do. I'm not having my time with you. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. And as y'all seen, I made a coffee this morning with zero sugar syrup, zero sugar creamer, and this coffee literally tastes like nothing. Maybe that's a good thing, because this is definitely straying me away from coffee. But on today's agenda, I was literally about to take it nice and slow. I was about to chill and still do, you know, everything I gotta do with second class off, but this camera, this mother freaking camera. If y'all don't know, I have the Sony ZV-1. And this camera has been tripping. It started, it did this once about like a month ago. And I sent it to my home girl. I'm like, all right, what's going on? So I looked it up and it said, just take the battery out. Take the SD card out and let the camera sit for like an hour. And then come back and it should be fixed. And it was fixed. But every single day this week, my camera has been doing what I showed y'all earlier. And sometimes it'll fix itself. Sometimes it don't. I have the lens on right now. But even without the lens, it does the same thing. I thought it was the lens. Obviously, it's not. So what I'm about to do is make an appointment at Best Buy because this camera is not about to stress me out i'm not filming nothing again until monday so or it's even tuesday so it's really not i'm not really in a rush but but i was about to sit here and do um bible study i still am but i'm just about to see if i can make me an appointment first because this is absolutely ridiculous i scheduled an appointment at best but i'm hoping i don't have to get a new camera or nothing i'm hoping it's just like a little something they can easily fix but i'm hoping it's something simple and quick i hope it's nothing really wrong with this camera because i've only had it a year and some change i really was not trying to leave the house today like it's raining it's gloomy it's just i really don't want to be outside but we got to figure out what's going on with this camera so yeah i'm about to go ahead and do bible study real quick and then i'll probably talk to y'all once we are on the way Y'all, I am back and I am on a new camera. I didn't, you know, change the settings. I didn't change anything. This is how I come. So, I'm gonna give y'all an update because a lot has happened. It's like four o'clock. We haven't talked since like 11. My camera was not working this morning. I only got to film one clip for y'all. And after that, I couldn't film nothing else. So I'm like, okay, this has gone too far. It's been doing this all week, but I was able to film in between it kind of messing up like it would mess up that it will work again like it would work and not work periodically if that makes sense but today i couldn't get no footage i said oh yeah this ain't gonna work y'all know i don't play by my content i scheduled an appointment at best buy to get them to look at it and looked at it and the lady was like and see i'm going to get a second opinion sometime soon because i still have the camera the camera is right here even though i'm on a new camera i still have the old camera um at first she was like let me clean it and see if that fixes it baby clean it okay but she went to the back and she was back there for like five minutes she came back out she was like have you dropped this camera before have you dropped it anytime soon i said no i've never dropped this camera i have never dropped my camera i know this for a fact she was like um well the lens is broke i'm like yeah that's Pretty much what i told you i was here because the lens is not working the lens is broke she's like no like there's dents and scratches and uh marks all over the the lens and i'm like what and she shows me in fact it is dented scratched and messed up all around my lens how did that happen i don't know maybe because i had a um wide angle lens on the outside the whole time but i don't i don't know but my lens is messed up okay and the barrier she said the barrier is messed up and it's not in the right place or something i don't know I don't know if my camera so i'm like okay well what now and my option was to send it in and to get it fixed and i'm like okay well like what's the average estimate she's like i don't know i'm like oh okay 
I'm like, is this something where they just have to tell you once they get it and see what the damage is, how much it's going to cost? She was like, yeah. And I'm like, I don't really like that because I was at a point where it's like, this camera was like 600 Right now it's 650 I paid seven something. So it's like, this camera's 650 I'm not paying more than half of what I paid for to get it fixed. If it came up to anything over $300, I was literally going to buy a new camera. And I, I don't know. And I also didn't want to wait. Like, I am very impatient. And money was not an issue. So I was just like, okay, you know what? Before I had went to the Geek Squad to have them look at my camera, I went to go look at the Sonys. I seen this camera. This is a Sony ZV-1 Mark II. I have the Sony, this camera that I usually was using. This is the Sony ZV-1. And I just bought the Sony ZV-1 Mark II. I didn't even know this was a thing, y'all. I didn't even know this was out. This camera is so fire. If you have a ZV-1, you know one of the main issues is the zoom in, like how in your face it is. This camera is wide already, naturally. I don't look like I'm all of y'all face. I look, I don't know, and the quality is better. It, they're pretty similar, but they're very different. Like if you're a ZV-1 owner, you can probably see the difference, like off rip. The quality is so much better. But yeah, it's just the upgrade from the camera I had previously. I paid $9.35 total because I did add a two-year, two or three-year warranty. I added a two or three-year warranty. I can't remember which one off the top of my head. Just in case anything like this happens. Because I had a warranty on my old camera, but it was only a year. And I've had this camera a little bit over a year. So, of course, this has to happen now. But I put a warranty on this one because I don't want to deal with this again. So, I did buy a new camera. And I'm probably like, which one do with the other one? I'm going to keep this as a backup. It does still work periodically but it hasn't been working ever since i left that store so i don't know i'm gonna keep it i might send it in and have them look at it and see if i want to pay to get it fixed and just keep it as a backup camera i'm not giving it away i'm not selling it i'm not doing none of that but yeah that's the whole thing with the camera i know a new camera wasn't exactly necessary i could have sent it in i could have waited i could have did all that but i just didn't want to and one thing about kaya she's gonna do what she wants to do so i got a new camera and i love her she's so cute and it's an investment and it's a tax write-off so you know what i'm saying a win is a win but apparently it was my fault customer's fault or whatever that's what she said because i damaged the lens so whatever but also while i was at that's fine i came across the macbooks and if you don't know i have a 20 i had a 2020 macbook air which is four years old at this point and it was starting it was blacking out on me here and there it wouldn't charge past 75 percent it was giving me like it green screens was popping up green boxes and stuff my computer was slowly giving out on me i would have gave it like another two months and it would have been done for so it was well time for an upgrade so i also did that today as well i got a 15 inch macbook air my old one was a 13 so this is definitely a lot bigger um i think i put the same amount of space because i was gonna get more but they didn't have it in stock and i cannot i don't know about y'all but i cannot order stuff online i need it in my hands right then and there so i traded my old mac in they gave me about 500 dollars for my 2020 macbook air which is honestly pretty decent because that is an old computer and i was expecting a little bit less than that if we're being honest i'm not too mad at it and it was on sale best buy had a sale going on all week my camera was also on sale if i didn't say that my camera was 100 dollars off this macbook was four I'm about to be an editing mode. Editing mode. So yeah, I got it in the color Starlight because I think that was all they had. Oh, this looks silver. Is this Starlight? The box is Starlight. So this is the Mac. Oh my God. I'm so excited, y'all. 15 inch, y'all. This is huge. I had the 13 inch. This is the 15.3. No, it's just the 15. And it is so cute. Oh, I'm so excited. And... I will not have to upgrade for another couple years. That is why I went ahead and got everything out the way. I just bought a new camera today. I just bought a new MacBook today. But with that, all this, I say all this to say, I will not have to upgrade for a very long time. I literally upgraded everything at the same time. And I think they also had all these deals going on because it's tax season and y'all know when taxes come around, everybody start buying all this stuff. But they had good deals and I was like, I might as well. So everything is officially upgraded. I literally do not need to buy anything else. I will be on a strict budget for the rest of March. I don't care. I don't even have fun to spend at this point. Don't ask me to go to work because I'm going to say yes and I don't need to. Oh my god, y'all. This is... I don't know. It's so much bigger and it's just... It's so cute. I love this. And this new camera. Oh my god. That is what happened today. I have been gone. I have been back and forth at the Best Buy store for the whole entire day. It is like... Like I told you, it's like 4 o'clock. I still need to work out. I still need to finish my water. I've only drunk in one fill one cup of the you know the hydro peak that i've been drinking out of I've only drunk one cup i need to do three so i have to keep filling that up rush through it i ate right before i came up on camera so yeah i have to read my 10 pages i did do bible study this morning but 
I'm not gonna count that because it was only like three or four pages of the Bible. So, I mean, I might count it and then just read like six or seven pages out of my book. Today definitely took a turn. I was not expecting to spend as much money. I was not expecting to have to buy a new camera. I'm not gonna say have to because I didn't have to. I just chose to and I do not regret my decision at all. This camera is beautiful, okay? I definitely will update y'all soon on um, if this one ever decides to come back to life, if I ever decide to get it fixed, I will update y'all on how I like this one after like a month or so. And I'm excited to edit on my new MacBook today. Ooh, I just can't wait to make my next vlog on this next camera. I'm so sad we had to end a vlog in a new camera and y'all can't really see the whole shabam. But like, are we seeing this? I don't think y'all are seeing how bad this quality is about to do my workout about to you know drink my water and stuff the rest of the day i'm gonna just cut this vlog short here because it's too much going on and i need to go ahead and start editing this video on this new computer i had started on my old computer but i traded it in so all my work is gone i need to set the computer up i need to do all that so in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and close this video out i'm gonna do what i have to do for 75 soft today and i will see you guys in the next video i think i'm gonna do another week of you know week of my life of 75 soft i will see you guys in the next video